Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and I am working on this beautiful 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD for my customer. This is the Z71 package. It is absolutely beautiful. Customer contacted me, wanted me to do a wash, a decon, a polish, and a coating on it, so we're going to get that ready for the customer. Now, I want to share with you guys, for those of you that maybe you work on larger vehicles, trucks, vans, etc., what is a great... Um, wash media to be able to safely wash your vehicle and why I would recommend this versus a different tool. You can see here we've got a lot of variety of brushes that we can choose from. Now this actually here and I'm going to just kind of walk you through each one of them so that way I can explain to you guys the differences, the benefits, uh, why you might want one over the other. So when it comes to brushes, oftentimes these are the brushes that people will kind of pull from. You can see this is a flagged tip brush, this is Nano Skin uh, green flag tip wheel brush. It's fantastic for wheels. You can see it's very gentle, but it does hold on to dirt, and uh, that runs the potential to scratch your paint. And here we have a Rag Company soft face wheel brush. I actually have found that this can be pretty safe on paint. Um, it does a great job if I have a chemical iron remover and it needs agitation and we've got some bug guts. This is a great soft face brush to be able to safely remove some of those stuck on bug parts. I have found it doesn't really scratch the paint when you have proper lubrication. So when you need a, a brush, sometimes these are kind of what we think about when it comes to car washes. And so we typically will end up getting something that has a similar uh, cleaning surface. Now, don't judge me. This is a brush that I picked up years ago at Walmart when I needed something quick to get the top of a work vehicle. I don't use this on vehicles. An example of what you would probably find at some retail stores. Now, mind you, it's matted down because I've just used it and scrubbed it flat. But you can see as I've scrubbed it flat, we don't have any sort of cushion or backing. And these flag tips really have a tendency sometimes when you're, they get matted like this or they're not super high quality, holding on to dirt and you lose a lot of your soap, your lubrication, and you just end up kind of scratching the dirt all over the vehicle. So when it comes to kind of cheap brushes, sometimes you get what you pay for. And when it comes to washing a vehicle, will it get the job done? Probably, but you'll end up paying more money in the long run, having to correct the swirls and scratches off your paint. Now, another Walmart find that I had, this was, again, I wanted to step up from this rough brush. I was like, I used it once, was like, this sucks. I'm doing damage. I kind of discarded it and put it into a house pile. Then I found this at Walmart. Again, this is a uh, affordable option for those of you. It does have a removable wash uh, pad here that you can launder. And it is microfiber, so you're going to be able to kind of pull some of that dirt away from the surface as you're washing. It's going to be more gentle on the paint. It will hold more soap, so you'll have extra lubrication. The only thing I'm not a fan of with this is that it has kind of a curved backing plate. So I find that I don't have consistent pressure throughout the pad of the mitt because I have pressure here, but here I end up uh, kind of losing some of that pressure. And so I find that I'll miss some areas of dirt or just doesn't have a clean, consistent finish. Or I end up spending more time kind of struggling with this hollow area here. It does have a telescoping pole. It is nice for that aspect. For those of you looking for a cheap one, it's a decent option. Now, when I was continuing my research, this is the McKees 37. This is their green uh, nylon uh, flag tip brush. You can see this is a 13 inch head. This has a metal pole, very durable. This is actually a fantastic option for boats and RVs. Uh, very, very durable. For those of you that need to do a large surface area quickly, but safely, it's going to be a similar uh, surface as this soft tip green brush. You can see we're very similar with construction. We don't necessarily have that extreme flag tip going on. The only downfall when you work with a brush like this is that sometimes you can lose your lubrication, but a workaround for that, and a lot of times when it comes to boats or RVs or larger vehicles, people will do a high pressure rinse, then they will do a foaming pre-soak, and when you have that foam on the vehicle, then you can come in uh, after having soapy water in your bucket, you can put this on the vehicle, and that way you have extra lubrication to help prevent the risk of scratching. I like to use the McKees 37 Extreme Foam Formula. It's a super high-sudsing soap, or you can use Extreme Suds 
um, from Extreme Solutions, two fantastic soaps to be able to give you extra lubrication, but they have really great grime fighting uh, capabilities within them. So for those of you that are working with larger vehicles, especially gel coat vehicles, RVs, boats, maybe some semi trucks, uh, fleet vehicles, etc. This is a great way to quickly get around a vehicle. So where a product like this was more specifically designed for larger vehicles, RVs, boats, etc. And you're kind of wanting to zip through them quickly. For those vehicles that you want to be a little bit more mindful of the condition of the paint, maybe it's black, maybe it's a softer paint, and you want to try to reduce the risk of scratches, microfiber is going to be your best way to go. Now, this is the noodle microfiber. This is the autofiber mitt on a stick. Clever little name there. And you can see this is actually removable. That is enclosed. So that way you don't run the risk of scratching the paint with any sort of attachment that is kind of poking out. What I like about this in comparison to some of the cheaper ones that you see on Amazon or in Walmart is here again, we've got this like circular hollow backing plate that just lacks the surface area to be able to properly clean. Here you've got a completely flat surface. So as you are pressing down on the surface, you're going to have consistent clean throughout and it is washable it is removable here's a couple options that they have now this isn't the exact type of wash mitt but this is just a plush microfiber from autofiber but they sell a similar one that you can put over the mitt on the stick for those of you that you just enjoy that plush microfiber look they also have kind of the dragon microfiber uh, this is a phenomenal wash mitt you can just pick up a, a standard dragon wash mitt for those of you that have smaller vehicles but i absolutely love this this is so fantastic to deep clean but very gentle on soft clear coat so we're actually probably going to be using this one today on our truck so that way we have a super soft not that either one is going to be a bad job but just because we have a little bit more grime I'm going to be using this one just to kind of gently get all of that dirt off the surface quickly you can see it is the perfect size for a five gallon bucket some brushes don't fit in five gallon buckets you've got to get a special bucket here you can see when we put it on our mitt, we're going to fit perfectly in our five gallon bucket. So we're going to get ready and I'm just going to wash this truck for you guys with the mitt on the stick and share with you guys just how quickly it can make a job. We've done our high pressure rinse, our foaming pre-soak using ADG F-Bomb, and we did a high pressure rinse. Now we're ready to wash it. The reason I rinsed all that off is there was a lot of grime, uh, and it's black paint soft. I want to try to get off as much of that stuck on debris and dirt as possible. So now when we go and do our actual contact wash, we're not going to run the risk of marring the paint because we've knocked off really anything that was loose on the paint. Now, the only thing that's really left behind is just some road film. Again, we're using a, you know, high lubricating soap. I actually have McKees 37 coating prep auto wash in here just to uh, completely strip the paint of any sort of wax or sealant that might be on there. It just does a, a fantastic job of just leaving behind a squeaky clean canvas ready for me to polish and coat. You did notice that I used a detail brush on our front grill. Uh, that just helps me kind of get some of those more intricate areas that the flat wash pad might miss. I tend to do that typically for every vehicle. I'll go over any of the badges, uh, the tighter areas, door, uh, door jams, window sills, et cetera, with a detail brush just to kind of get in there a little bit better than a wash mitt because sometimes when you're just going over it, you might miss those intricate areas. So let's go ahead and give her a good wash. Work our way down. I've got my wheel dolly that's going to make it easier for me to maneuver, but you can see how easily it fits in our five gallon bucket, how much soap it holds. And this dragon wash mitt just glides over the surface. I can get well beyond half of the hood and the roof with this.
If I had a normal washman, I would have had to get down and move my ladder about two or three times to cover this much surface area. You can see how far out I am, and I can still reach clear to the other side of this roof. And if any of you have ever washed a truck, you know how annoying doing these back windows can be, as well as the truck bed. can do the whole thing from right here. I don't need a step stool or a ladder. I don't have to lean precariously over the new cover and possibly tear it. It's square so you can get into those tighter areas nicely versus a round wash pad. Now again, this is low enough that I could use a standard wash mitt, but it's doing the job. You can see I'm kind of leaving those lower areas for last. pad uh, to follow up but essentially we're done washing we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off I don't want to let it air dry just because I don't want water spots I do have high TDS water here which is total dissolved solids so it, they are prone to leaving water spots but essentially it's as easy as that you can see how quickly we were able to wash this entire crew cab 2500 HD truck I didn't have to move my ladder multiple times set up one time centrally located was able to reach all the difficult areas. Did use a detail brush for those tighter areas, but for those of you that are looking for a safe, gentle, but effective way to wash larger vehicles, even smaller vehicles, you can shorten the handle and use it that way. But between the Dragon microfiber wash mitt or even the noodle or the plush microfiber, you're gonna find a very effective and safe way to wash a vehicle. You can launder it, make sure that it is properly cleaned at every time. It's a fantastic system. But for those of you maybe looking for something a little bit more uh, aggressive, go after maybe some heavier debris. Um, maybe if you have a boat where you have a lot of algae the detail brush from McKees 37, I will put the link for that down below. Fantastic for RVs, boats, if you have you know fleet trucks, semi trucks that you need to quickly get around. It's a fantastic way. You don't necessarily have to be as gentle. So there's two different options for you based on kind of the scenario. I don't think there's just one you know, size fits all, but these are two great options for those of you that are needing to wash larger vehicles. So hopefully this can help some of you guys uh, as you pursue detailing. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to keep moving on this so we don't have water spots, but thanks guys for watching. Make sure you guys stay tuned to my Facebook page. We're going to have the finished look uh, of this vehicle. Might do a little bit of uh, polishing just to kind of show you what I'm using. Uh, we'll see how time allots, but thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.